philosophy that I kind of adopted that I'm taking into this business now is it's so, oftentimes it's not about converting someone to liking your thing. It's just about finding the people who will. And in a room of a thousand people, your anything that you create, you might get someone interested. So if you're gonna get one per thousand, show it to hundred thousand people and get your audience. Like it may be niche and it'll be a slower growth, but I think the way humanity is and set up is there's going to be people who are like somebody's thing, like whatever it is. And I think it's just what we suffer with is getting it out there. The same as music artists, because of course we have a lot of successful, but there's a lot that who, who aren't successful. I think purely just for the marketing of themselves, not skill, not drive or ambition. It's just marketing. There's an important conversation in that around distribution channels, which nowadays is social media. And I'm looking at the old days of social media. Hmm. And I think it's, I think it, you and I, at that point, we were kind of in similar spaces where we were kind of just creating for the passion of creating. Like, I think that's how we came across each other and how we found ourselves in like similar networks. Hmm. Um, and back then, social media was quite different in the sense where your work would reach, like it had the potential to reach whoever. It didn't yeah. really matter what it was, just as long as people resonated with it, yeah, it would reach yeah. more people. But then what happened is the algorithms changed. And this is when I stopped posting my own stuff. If you go on my Instagram feed and you scroll down, you'll see there's a point in time where I just stopped like yeah. putting out stuff that I liked making. And the reason why I did that was because no, it wouldn't get distributed in the same way as before. If you didn't confine or bow down to the algorithm and what the expectation was from the social media platform, you would get completely obliterated in your reach. And I think that's a huge issue in my, you know, opinion. And the reason why I say that is because the way I view social media is social media is essentially a public space. So like yeah. think about going to a park. Anyone is allowed to go in a park. Anyone's allowed to decide where they want to sit, what they're going to look at. You have the choice. But what's happened in this digital park is there's a whole bunch of rules. And if you don't follow those rules, then you get the little corner crappy part of the park. Yeah. And that's like your where no one wants to be. And I think that's an issue because what's happening now is more and more of our lives and existence is online, but we don't view it in that same way. We don't view it as a public space. And I think that's I an think, issue. I think it's, it's a public space, but not really. It's, it's a company like it's like they're it's building. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're driven by profit. And I think that of course has been the why social media has changed is because they want to show us more adverts than back then. I don't even know if were there adverts on Instagram like early days. If they were, it was like few and far between, but now it's like every third post maybe is an advert. These aren't our spaces. We don't have that control 